Hey guys, what's up? I know I have not made a video on the HTC One in quite a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and, you know, make the video of the ROM that I've been running for the past, I want to say month, I guess? Um, my HTC One is basically my bathroom <laughs> phone. I play games on it, Pandora, YouTube, you know, things, it, it just sits in there, so. But, I'm running Trick Droid 10.0. Um... If you do not flash the mod pack or the tweaks package, you don't really have much customization. It's just basically stock with, well, like the UI is stock, but there are a lot of tweaks and stuff to, you know, help performance and stuff like that. But, um, you see, I do have the extended launcher. I am hiding the top clock. That is because I have the Sense 5 toolbox. So if we go ahead and open this up and we go to mods. See, so you can, you know, you can find that if you go to the exposed, go down here, go to the exposed installer, go to modules, and just five, sorry, go to download, and then just find, find the Sense 5 toolbox, and you guys can go ahead and install that and change, you know, everything about Sense. But what I did was I installed the tweaks package, which I will link below, it's in the thread to the ROM, and you see that I have the if I pull this up a little bit closer, focus. See, I have the AOSP style recents. Well, not recents, I mean like alarm clock and whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. But overall, this has been a pretty great ROM. Battery life on it is excellent. My phone lasts almost a week. And that's with playing Pandora, playing games. I have Drastic, the DS emulator that I play. Um, so I'm, I play that, um, Pandora while I'm in the shower. And it lasts a really long time. So if we go into apparently my Gmail, <laughs> let's go down to power and see we are at 18 minutes right now at 99%. And this will last quite a while actually. So if you guys want a stable ROM with a great battery life, go ahead and flash this because this is going to be the best for you so far. Um. If you want tons of tweaks, t tons of things to change on the UI, you want Viper ROM, but I, I like a minimal kind of approach because I like my phone to have great battery life and just be stable, so I don't have to worry about issues or anything like that. And Viper ROM didn't deliver that for me, so I didn't keep it because the battery life on it sucked. So, <laughs> but if you guys go into settings, go into settings. Um, you see that there are no Trick Droid tweaks because this is now based on Android 4.3. You guys may know by now that Torx, he will, he's the dev that was actually working on this. He, he had to step away from Android because, you know, family is always, they always come first. So there is now a new maintainer, has not updated this yet, but he, he will. But we are now on Android 4.3 with HTC Sense 5.0 and that's it's basically a stock Sense 5 ROM with tons of battery tweaks and performance tweaks and I mean that's just basically what it is. So I'm going to show you guys the tweaks package because that's kind of the main part of Trick Droid. So you see the custom boot animation? Well this is a down animation because it's turning off but you know. <laughs> Fail. I'm sorry. I need to clean my hey I also, I also got a haircut I don't know if you guys can tell I, I used to have hair down to my shoulders but I'm not sure why that Bendroid is still there I don't know how to get rid of that I flashed the Bendroid ROM and um that installed and I don't know how to get rid of it so apparently I'm hitting stuff so if we go to install if we go to our downloads folder and if we go to the trick droid dreams dreams that's a word Trick Droid Themes, this is the 9.3 build, so this is only a few days old, I, I know I need to update my Torp Recovery, don't tell me, um, so this is only a few days old, this is the main part of Trick Droid, that you flash on top of the actual base ROM, so you see right here we're going to go ahead and start, and so you only get one option here for the battery base, see you can do the stock status bar, the holo blue, holo white, I love the color red, but the blue matches my wallpaper as you've seen, so I go with the blue. Now you can have solid, solid, can't talk. I like the semi-transparent, because if it's all the way transparent, it doesn't really look that good on stuff that's behind it. 
So I just kind of do the semi-transparent where it still looks great. And then we can choose our battery. So if you guys like the CM um, circle, circle type battery, go with the Holo Circle. That's the one that I did have. Um, for the launcher, you guys have tons of options here. Um, if you actually turn on the launcher, like if you hit the grid size, like on the launcher, you'll see that you have 3x4, 4x5, 5x6, 5x4, 4x5, something like that. But you have about six options total. So you can do transparent launcher, you can do, you know, extended. I just really do the enhanced because I, I like the, like the 5x6 in the app drawer because as you've seen, you can fit a lot more apps. But I mean, I guess if you like, we'll just do the transparency I, I could show you guys because I, I mean, if you, you know, flash something that you don't like, you can always go back and you can reflash this tweaks package. So that's pretty nice. So you don't have to just keep it. Do semi-transparent sock sense. I like to do semi-transparent. Semi-transparent sense dock. Let's do AUSP animations. But you can also choose your custom fonts. I'm going to go with the Roboto font because I have it on most of my devices and I, I really like it because, you know, it just looks kind of good. Now, for the weather clock, you guys don't know what that is. It's the weather clock. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It's, just, it's, it's the weather clock. Um, I kind of like the smoke dark. I don't want the bottom, but you know. So here are the few mods. Those are all visual enhancements. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but those are stuff to actually change how you can see, you know, the ROM, like the status bar mods, the transparent stuff and all that. We can change the home button into five different things, so we're going to do that. I like the trick fire, the trick droid fire boot animation. And also the Trick Droid CRT. CRT is when you turn your device off. Like the little animation that happens when you turn your device off. And if you guys choose something that you don't like, just go back through the installer after booting up. If you see something that you want to change to something else, go back into the installer, change it, and then, you know, it doesn't take that long to install. You just choose everything that you want. And we're going to go ahead and reboot. Hit next, hit finish, and we're gonna go ahead and reboot. And I'm gonna show you guys the little fire animation that I think is pretty cool looking. I still don't know how to get rid of that. Like I said, I installed um Bendroid uh, like three three months ago. But I guess it installed the um the splash image. And I haven't really taken the time to actually look and see if there are you know, splash images available. If you guys don't know what a splash image is, then just ignore me. So, <laughs> but nor normally it just says, says HTC One, but now it says Bendroid, and it's kind of irritating. So, but this is the fire. It says quietly trick droid. I know you guys probably can't really see that, so I'm gonna try to bring it in. It's because the brightness is a little much. But I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, and then when we are booted up, I will be back. Okay, so we are back. I paused it because it had to go to the Android is upgrading screen, and I know you guys didn't want to see that. But now you actually notice that my um, icons are back to normal, so that's always good. Sorry about that. There was a loud truck outside that I kind of want to go beat the owner up. But <laughs> So if we go into the menu... And if we go to grid size, you notice that we have all these options, so you can choose anything you want. I like it to where the clock is, isn't on top, because you have the clock here, you have the clock here. If you scroll over to blink feed, that I actually disabled with the Sense5 toolbox, you had the clock there. And it was just too many clocks. I mean, who? no one needs that. But you see, we have the transparent that's going on. 35 applications upgraded. Okay. Um... <laughs> But I mean, that's basically it. If you guys want a ROM with a few tweaks that are, you know, useful tweaks, not just random tweaks like Viper ROM where they just throw everything in there. <laughs> but if you guys want a really, really stable ROM, great battery life, that works great. Both of the speakers work great. Um, on Bendroid, only my bottom speaker worked. I flashed this ROM and now they both work. I don't know. I guess that's a thing. But yeah. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you guys have any recommendations for any HTC One ROMs, go ahead and leave a comment below and maybe I'll 
start flashing more ROMs and I'll do more videos on my HTC One because I know you guys like this phone. I don't know why I don't like it, but you know you guys do. So um, I will see you guys in the next video.